So you'll notice something different between the NES and the Game Boy version. The, te the text on the Game Boy version goes by super fast. And it's, if you're on the Japanese version, then yeah, it just flies by. But look at the overworld movement. On the NES version, you just, you can, you're basically running, but here you're just walking, taking your time. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, this game was in Tiny Ten number 8, uh, but the goal was to defeat the frog. Strutting? Heck yeah. It's weird going from Demon's Crest to this. Come on. Also, your jump, you kind of move out more. Nice. But yeah, I'm kind of glad this game has its own board. It's not just like, oh, this is, it's the NES board, but the Game Boy version. It's like, no, this is a different game. <laughs> Completely different, so it deserves its own board. Ah, that's fine. The health pickup in this game still exists from NES. Basically, they didn't, like, take anything out. They took a couple... There is one enemy in particular that they took out in one level for some reason. Um, but yeah. Some things in this are easier, some are more difficult. It's just... Yeah. That... Flying over that enemy is actually kind of hard on NES. But yeah, health upgrade's still there. Come on. That enemy that's down there that jumps up, he's actually more on the right for some reason. Now these enemies are still here. It's fine. Because that heart is still there. Yeah, Tiny Ten Eight was the one that I didn't finish. That one I forfeited. I'm not proud of it or anything, it's just... Well, then again, that list had Maru's mission in it. And I was already playing horribly in all of the games, so I was just kind of done. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. Interesting. I'll take it. Also, Gargoyle's Quest 1 on the Game Boy, except for the random encounters, that game's amazing. I'm glad I learned the whole thing on that game. Had to! Tiny Ten Remix 2. <laughs> Let me think, this year, multi-game races all have done. I did Tiny Ten... I'll have done Tiny Ten 10. I did Tiny Ten Remix 2, Mega 16 number 4, Big 20 number 10, Big 20 number 11, Nescathlon... I did a ton of multi-game races this this year, so no wonder I'm going to be exhausted and why I don't really want to do them anymore. They're exhausting. How many is that? Nescathlon, two big 20s, Tiny 10, 10, and then Tiny 10 Remix 2, and then Mega 60 number. That's six races I did. That is six. I mean, I've done five, but there's a sixth one coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and people wonder why I go crazy. That's because I do it to myself. Sometimes, anyway. Well, I guess in a way, yeah, that's the only reason I ever go crazy.
Then again, this is about how fast you move in the first Gargoyles quest on Game Boy. Well, the first Gargoyles quest, that was only on Game Boy as far as I know. Gargoyles Quest 2 was on uh, NES and Game Boy. Hence this. <laughs> However, the Game Boy version of this only released in Japan. <laughs> my, my, our endurance is kind of different though, because my endurance is I can tolerate more than 280 games. But some people have the endurance like Arcadia has, where she can sit there and play one game for 12 hours straight. And then say, okay, yeah, I'm going to look into improving this. Like, you mad woman. <laughs> there is a U.S. fan translation that was used during Tiny 10-8. Um, it was in English, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. You don't really need to know what they're saying in this game. Because for the most part, you just have to skip it. There's one place where you need to tell somebody no, but all you have to do is just pick the other option that your text is highlighted on. You just have to move the arrow the other op to the other option. Also, this part is a lot easier. This only has, I think, five of these. Whereas on NES, there's, like, seven, I think. So yeah, they cut out two of those and made the level a bit shorter. Alright. A one-track mind. Yeah, I... <laughs> not for me. I'm, I'm just insane. I have... I am... Truly insane. And like, it was like Antilles58 was saying yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, he's like, yeah, Alex trying to get the top spot, but like, he's actually trying to like, learn something about every single game he does. That being said, I also ran John Cena's Sexy High School Adventure, so, <laughs> I don't know about that. But it's like, that's true, it's like, I'm not just doing Flash games and mobile games, I'm actually like, trying to do games where... You're, there's like definitely like you know no one's gonna doubt the effort put in okay somebody's gonna doubt some of the effort put in I mean, I'm just flying through this <laughs> that was funny I did a pun there hashtag doubt alright you know what you're free to believe that <laughs> fine go now the position of some of these uh, spears are different dang it that's kind of hard like this that that section right there that I just failed that's actually really hard to do on the game boy I don't know why they changed it also on the game boy version those enemies that like fly by and drop the uh, trying to think. I know I have to die at least once before... Uh, actually, no. I... I'm trying... I, I kind of lost my train of thought, honestly. This is... This, this all just threw me off. Hitting these guys seems a bit more difficult for some reason. We'll just do that. The balloon boss is the exact same as NES, as far as I know. Like, they didn't really change anything with him. Then again, I don't know if the NES version existed first, or if this existed first. If I had to guess, the NES version did. What?! It took me a second to realize what is what had happened. Oh, I don't like this. 
Also, some of the I don't remember if it's this boss, but some bosses, if you bump into them on NES, they would have dealt you two damage. On this, they'll do they'll deal you one. But I don't remember which one is which, so don't ask me. All right, I would have liked sub ten there, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain about it. Let's just go. Honestly, a good time for me in this game, sub 40. If I can get that, I will never really... I'm not uh, I'm not really going to put too much more effort into it if I get sub 40 in this. Because I already like the NES version more on this game, personally. But I mean, if you have to play this game somehow and you only have this, go for it. <laughs> Which dealt more damage. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking now, Kappa. This is all the same stuff. Talk to her and she'll uh, tell you to go in the middle here. The menu is the exact same, except you have to scroll down now. But that's fine. It's not a big deal. up here. There is one person we have to talk to after the, uh, oops, after we do the, um, uh, uh, can't think of it, um, when we do the twins fight. Do I have a split for the twins? I think I do, because all I did was just copy my NES splits over and deleted everything and rechanged, and, like, changed everything. Rechanged. Nice. Um, but, uh, um, after the twins, when you talk to the guy and you go in that portal, you actually have to talk to him again on this version for some reason. You have to talk to him twice. I don't know why, but... Good. That is, for whatever reason, significantly easier on Game Boy. I don't know why. It just is. Also, I don't know if this is just an oversight or something. You can't land up there. I've tried it. You can't land on there. So, yeah. Interesting. I don't know if that was just an oversight from, like, porting it to the Game Boy or something. I don't really know. I don't have a clue. There's a lot about this game I don't really know. Alright. Also, you kind of have to wait for the menu to pull up there. The NES version does not have that issue. Okay, that's interesting. Also, you can to you can shoot two of those, but it's slower for some reason on this version. It doesn't really make sense. Jumping through sand in this is easier. I'm literally just pointing out every difference between this and the NES version. That is literally all I have done right now. It's just I'm just pointing out every difference. I'm like one of those React channels. Where they react to like Avengers Endgame trailer, and they all they do is just say the name of every character that's on the screen. Which I mean, if you're doing the actual reaction, I can understand like not really saying much. But then they're like, "Oh wow, that was great! All right, I'm done. Give me money. Give me AdSense money." <laughs> all right, if I die once, I have one more chance after. So yeah, in Tiny Ten Eight, this was the goal: is to was to defeat this guy. Alright, there's an example of a guy who, uh, on NES, he would have dealt you two damage if you had bumped into him directly. Here, he only dealt one. Oh shoot, I'm dead. Yeah. I actually could have jumped higher, but I failed. Well, now I have full health again. Good. Oh wait, he didn't even... Okay, so this is something interesting. Sometimes he doesn't do anything. It's super weird. Sometimes he just straight up doesn't do anything. Also, my PB for uh, the Tiny Ten goal that was in this was 16 minutes. I just beat that. <laughs> and I'm down to zero lives, so I can take the game over easy. 
the Fate King boss is another example where you can only take... If you take... If you run into him, he only deals one damage. At least if I remember correctly. So yeah, we do that on purpose because we took the password earlier. And that's actually the town that we need to go to. So, yeah. We just death warped. No point in doing the platforming and going back on the overworld if we can just death warp, right? So then go here. Your fourth option is the gremlin stick. You want to use that. And he... He destroys the barrier that's blocking your way where you need to go. So now we're heading out. We out. We out, ladies and gents. So, there is normally a barrier. I'll point it out when I get to it. There's normally a barrier somewhere. However, when you give him the gremlin, when you give him the gremlin stick, he get he gets rid of it. There is normally a barrier right here. However, it's not there. So, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It really, it, yeah, it just doesn't have that kind of ring to it, you know? It's not like a popular, it doesn't sound like a popular catchphrase at all. Um, we also get the tornado. Same deal as NES. Except I find myself not needing it nearly as much in this. Like right here. Like, the ground is already very much closer to you, so you just have to get over that one plant, and then you're good. Or whatever that thing is, I don't know what it is. Alright, Fake King. And we're gonna get the next password here. It's actually slower to get this password, if you're good at the game, however, I'm not. So, we're gonna get the password. It's also worth noting that the, tw the twins are another example where if you touch them, they only deal one damage. Alright, so this is the part of the game where you actually do need to mind what you're doing in your text. When he prompts us, we're gonna... ...choose no. Basically, he's telling us, go back to the town you were from, there's nothing wrong. And we tell him no. And he's like, you dared, you know, like, I don't know what he says, but... Basically, he gets mad and he's like, fine, I'm gonna reveal my true identity, I'm not the king. So just because you can hit this boss and only take one damage doesn't mean you have to. There we go. <laughs> Come on, man. And you have to take him out, because when you take out the twins and you get to the real king, if the fake king is still there, I don't know what happens, but just it just doesn't... I don't know, you can't progress. You have to take out the fake king. You just have to do it. Alright. Some parts of this level are easier on Game Boy. The flame is kind of easier to discern. Or, like, to figure out, like, where it's gonna be or, like, where it's going. I think even when it shoots out is different. Like, right there, they didn't shoot out at the same time. That's what she said. Um, but yeah. I'm actually going to go back. I screwed that up. That's what I get for making sex jokes. I thought my stream was PG-13, and yet here I am. Hang on, what did you say? Hang on, I'll get when I when I can reach out, I'll get, I'll look over. There we go. It's kind of hard to tell what blocks you can land on and which ones you can't. Yep. Did I just? Oh, I just, oh, I see what I did. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I'll take it. I don't know if I'm gonna land on that block on the right. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Thank God. Alright. <clears throat> so this right here... You can't leave this room until you talk to him after he's done talking to you. It's really weird. So I just talked to him again. And now we're good to go. If you don't talk to him again, you can't leave. I don't know why. I I don't know what he's saying, so I can't I can't explain it. But it's probably got something to do with the story. All right. This boss fight we're going to do is much more it's slower in this version compared to NES. On NES you can just get in one position and just slaughter him. In this not the case. You kind of have to be a bit more methodical here. If you get right, because like, normally if you just get on the right side of that block in the middle, if you're in a certain position, he'll like throw his blade up, but it won't hit you. On this version, if you're over there on the right block at all, you're going to get hit. <coughs> it doesn't matter what he's doing, he's going to hit you. Okay, that was awkward. You don't even technically need any of those, I just like to use one. Because I don't even know why, it's... It just feels right. I don't remember where the lava is. Grab that. We're good. Oh, I still have the tornado, okay. There is one enemy in this level they took out for some reason. He's in the NES version, but he's not in this. I don't know why. He's sort of near the end. Why did I do that? Just... Alright, there we go. Those spikes down there are, I believe, insta-kill. So we kind of have to do something weird there, because you can't quite make it with just one. At least I don't think. I'm sure you probably can, but I've never seen it done. I only watched a little bit of the world record run. I didn't watch that much. Because, for the most part, everything is the same. If you played the NES version, that is. If you didn't play that, then this game is going to be a foreign language to you, but... It isn't for me. Patrick, that's not fun! It is for me! <laughs> Washing an old person! Patrick, that's not fun! It is for me! <clears throat> If Patrick thinks that's fun, then... Dude, you could entertain that guy with anything. You could just set an orange in front of Okay, so normally there's a guy right in here. He's not there on this. So, yeah. How many lives do I have? Two? Okay. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter what happens here. Oh, I don't even... <laughs> it didn't even take the damage. So because your boomerang shoot out slower, um, this fight is slower. Alright.
All right, so here you actually can't like make this fast or anything, so you just sit here and let this text scroll by. The Japanese version of this game on NES does the same thing, where on on the US version you have to like mash through the text. On this, it just scrolls. So that's one big time save the Japanese version has over US. On US, the text doesn't scroll like that. And all he's doing is just telling you the story that he tells in the US version of like why you need to save the world and yeah, it's yeah. That's all he's doing. It's nothing significant. I mean it is, but for the, we're speedrunning the game, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he could be talking about fairies and popsicles and all that. Like it really doesn't matter. I could go for a popsicle right now. I haven't had one in a long time. Fairies don't exist, so I can't really do anything about that. Dude, I do have ice cream, though, in my freezer. Oh, man, I'm excited to eat it. I'm just gonna wait for him. He's, yeah. He's ugly. Oh, shoot! I thought I had the tornado! Uh, um, that could have been way worse, but holy crap, don't scare me like that. Okay, fine, just... Oh, what? Does that despawn him? No, but it doesn't matter, we're through. Alright, finally. <clears throat> Excuse me, god. It's like I swallowed a rock or something. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to him twice. It doesn't it's not necessary. Once you get the thing, get out. <clears throat> also, the final boss in this game is a lot easier to do than in the NES and in the NES version. <clears throat> when you have a lot of N sounds in a sentence, you can kind of get slurred on your words. Or at least that just happens to me. It probably doesn't happen to anybody else. I'm yeah, you guys probably say everything normally, and I don't. <laughs> uh, let's go around this way. Actually, no, just do that. It doesn't matter how you exit, you get, you get spit out the same way. Alright, time for another game over. At least I think it's faster to do a game over in this version. Even if it's not, it doesn't matter, I committed to it, let's go. Alright. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It prob maybe it wasn't faster. I don't know. I mean we've it's it, it's done, so Alright. So now we're good to go. We can head to the next Well actually we can destroy the barrier. Because that's actually why we did any of that stuff. Alright, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's this one. Your 8th option. I, there's two of them that aren't even there. But you go to your 8th option. I don't know if we can get a sub 35 on this. But like I said, I would take a sub 40. So Stop your complaining. You also shoot these bubbles slower. Basically, everything you can shoot in this game, it's slow. It's slower in this version. Still feasible. Still reliable. It's just slower. I can take one hit and be okay. Any more than that, and we are slightly pushing it.
I actually want this. A lot of sprites on the screen. Something's gotta change. Alright. You have to do a lot of switching in this. We might be alright. I still have all my lives because I took a game over. So, you get your lives replenished. So yeah, we're probably still fine. <sighs> a little bit sketchy there. Switch this now, because we're going to use it on the boss we're about to fight. So basically this fight, that first block is always gonna, he's always gonna shoot it. Oh crap. What? Did that laser actually hit me? Can you guys, do you guys concur with that? Did that actually hit me? I, I don't know if I agree with that, I really don't. Actually, can I do this? I don't know what happened. That was bizarre. Yeah, that was sketchy looking. I don't know if I agree with that. I, I really don't know if I agree with that. Come on. I'm trying to press the button and I, I, I'm not releasing the button enough. None of this matters. Basically, you get a new weapon and everything you have upgrades. That's all that the game is telling you here. Alright, final stage and then final boss. And you have infinite wingspan now, so... You don't have to worry about your, fly your flying. You can just go. And you can jump really high. Also, this barrier's not here on NES, at least I don't think. So I don't know why they put one here. It just kind of slows down the action. Uh, you don't have to kill any of these enemies. If you get that, you don't have to kill him. The health upgrade in this level is still there. So we'll just make our way there. You don't have to kill these uh, enemies because you actually can make it here. Well, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of butchered that. That's, that's whatever. I'll get over it. I'll just eat some ice cream later and I'll get over that mistake. I do have ice cream I'm excited to eat. So I don't have anything interesting to talk about for a little bit, so... There's this Ben and Jerry's chocolate milk and cookies ice cream. It sounds extremely unhealthy, and it definitely is, but man, it's delicious. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna take this guy out. Alright, I have to be kind of careful here. I did mention that the final boss was easier on this version. It's only easier to do the quick kill. It's actually, like, kind of hard to do the method I do in NES. So let's see what happens here. Let's just, let's play it out. I do have one extra life if I need it. Didn't get it. I get one more chance.
Got him. All right. Oh, can this be a high 35? I don't know. I don't know if this can be a high 35. I would take it. Regardless, I'm going to take this time. I like this time. I'm going to take it. Really, the only thing I didn't like about this run is that one random death. Oh, come on. This, this can be a high 35. Come on. Thirty-five, forty-five. There it is. <clears throat> First run, and I got a time I'm pleased with. That's totally fine. I could probably sub thirty-five, but eh, I'm not, I don't care enough right now. Thanks to GG Arcadia. Much appreciated. And hey, I finished uh, with actually a few minutes to spare, compared to where I wanted to. I wanted to end in about 12 minutes, but uh, we actually finished a bit earlier. But hey, that's fine, because a little bit more time for me to relax, to get some work done. Thanks, Tigerian, for the GG. But yeah, that was that was a fine run. That was fine. Not, not perfect or anything, but... That's okay. We take these.